guys i'm back again today with another video today i'm going to be doing my black opal stick demo along with a mini review uh what i like about the product and just how i apply it i've worn this like one other time so far i do not really wear cream foundations because i am extremely oily but i'm just going to show you the product and this is the foundation it's actually it comes in the package like this I actually have two colors I have nutmeg and I have hazelnut I got nutmeg which is actually a little too light for me so I went back for this which I might be able to go a little darker but I do like how it looks on my skin so I'm just gonna stay with it for now since I don't wear it too much either way because of the oiliness but this is 0.5 a product and I do believe this will last a long time me especially since I don't wear it that much because it is so such a creamy foundation but comes in a tube like this it's hypoallergenic and paraben free and fragrance free so I'm just gonna show you how I get ready to apply this and the whole process I go through. I've already primed my face and I use, as you know, the Mary Kay primer. This is my favorite primer of the moment. So this is what I'm going to use. I've already put it on my face because I want to sit on my skin just to get my skin prepared. I already moisturized my face and everything. And then after this, because this is so oily, I'm actually going to bring out the Milk of Magnesia. This is Philips. You can use any one, but I prefer this just because it's known so broadly. And I'm actually going to take one of these and put it on there. I'm going to use this as another primer. This is just going to help with my oiliness. So this is on my face. It might dry a little white. It does tend to do that at times. But we shall see. Some lady, I just want to make sure my face is actually dry. Okay, so now that that is on my face, I'm actually going to take, I'm going to take nutmeg and just take it. I'm going to put it right on my face. It is my own personal one. It is a full coverage foundation. I do want y'all to know that. It's going to cover. I'm not using a concealer with it because my skin is not bad to that degree. And then I'm also going to take now my hazelnut, which is slightly darker. And this is closer to my skin color. And I'm going to put that right on my jaw. A little does go a long way, so you don't need. I'm just, since I'm not doing anything else, just want that fuller application. And I did see a few people using this, especially Beat Face Honey. So I figured I'd try it. I'm in South Florida and it is very hot. So don't really use cream foundations with my skin type. But today it's actually like 48 to the 50s. Like high 40s, low 50s, which is really cold. So I figured this is the perfect time to do it. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques blending brush. Expert face brush. Sorry. And then I'm going to take also my all-nighter spray from Urban Decay. Because I'm really concerned about the oiliness. So I just want to make sure it's all covered. I'm going to spray it. This is a cream, so. And now I'm just going to blend it in. I'm starting from the middle and going out since the lighter foundation is right there. I'm going to push that up into my hairline some. Just because I don't want that darkness to show through. So as you can see, that actually looks like a very nice and flawless application. This is a pretty, basically right on my color as you can see from here to my chest. It's actually matching perfectly. So the coverage on this is amazing. It is creamy, but I feel like it dries more velvety. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin and you, it is... Full coverage and it is also buildable. I didn't use as much as others might use because I don't need that much coverage. But the coverage is flawless. Just wanted to show it to you up close and personal. So now that that's on, you know, just because I just want to make sure. And the milk of magnesia really helps because there is actually 
no oil coming through on this already and that's gonna help it to stay up through the day I'm gonna spray it one more time because I'm just like that so now that that's on I'm actually gonna take my blotting powder from MAC and this is actually in deep dark take my another real techniques brush and I am concerned sorry I'm getting text messages but I am concerned I am concerned with the oil seeping through so I'm just gonna take the blotting powder and I'm gonna try to push it in underneath my eyes because if it is gonna crease that's exactly where it's gonna happen just to make sure I get that coverage take it all through my oily and I'm pushing it in more to my skin because I want it to take but the finish the finish on this is remarkable my mirror's to the side if you're wondering why I'm looking this is the skin finish from MAC and I'm actually going to take this and just go along the outsides just to darken it up a little bit And that is my whole routine when it comes to actually applying this. It looks flawless to me. Like I don't see anything wrong. You don't see any darkness underneath my eyes. It blends in perfectly. So I just want to tell you really quick my thoughts on this foundation. I did show you the container. I do like the packaging that it is in this. If you're going to use it for your kit, I would suggest depotting it because... I don't think it's sanitary to put this on your face. I do it, but it's not the most sanitary thing. But my face is clean. I did just wash it and just primed it and rubbed it on. Because bacteria can grow that way. So I don't know quite how I feel about that. But I think it's a great foundation for a drugstore foundation. This I actually did have to go to a beauty store for. I checked a couple and in my area, I'm in South Florida, and none of the stores around had it. Like they stopped receiving shipments for it. So I finally was able to find it at one beauty store. And I got the two and I do love it. I would wear this again. Probably when it's cooler today, I told you the temperature is wonderful so I'm not too worried about the oiliness and I think it's gonna hold up great but I do think it is a foundation you should try if you have dry skin or combo I think this would be great as long as you prime you're good to go if you're an oily girl like me by all means throw in some milk of magnesia with a good primer and you will be set to go but it's flawless as far as I'm concerned, I would definitely recommend this. I just want you to see because everyone has their ways of putting it on, how I put it on, rubbed it out. And if you do have darker and you do need a conceal, you're more than welcome to take your concealer or anything to use it. But this is actually a perfect match for me. I think you should try it. So thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate you taking the time out. Please like and subscribe if you do. If you've been wondering about trying this, I definitely suggest that you do try it because it is good for girls. It is good for us darker girls. And it does go lighter colors too. There's 10 colors I believe. But it does have red undertones, yellow undertones. And if it is too yellow for you, then you can always set it with a redder powder or vice versa just to help with the coloring. But this is my perfect match as far as I'm concerned.